Hey peeps, what's up? I've, I've been good, guys and gals, and uh, I tell you what, hello everyone out there in the United States, good space, and in man in the land, in the land, it's me, Alex. So I'm home, and I'm very still pretty, I'm pretty happy with it, because why not happy being home, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, what do we do? What do we do? Huh? Huh? Jerking? No, not, not tonight at least, it's not the, uh, probably, uh, maybe once in a while. I'm kidding, I'm not that kind of guy. Maybe I am, who knows. Anyways, let's get going on our video shoot of tonight. I'm not keeping things in secret about my personal stuff, but uh, for the major part, maybe I do. My, maybe I'm lo like lowering my, lowering my bar at the same time and uh, keeping that low, so-called low profile. I'm not kind of like shared, I should say, kind of guy, and, I will, and I've never been actually, I should say. And, uh, Guys, uh, only only the absence of topic leads me to this uh, nice conversation of tonight. And uh, on my way home, I was just uh, shopping like in close proximity to my home, and uh, I bought what? I bought apples. Uh, I haven't bought apples. I bought seeds. I bought bread. I bought coffee. I bet I bought pepper fox, and I uh, packed it neatly in the thin packet. Being uh, being at that mall just for free, whatever person may get it for free, that package is pretty lame, I should say, but uh, for me it served well, at least tonight, and I, 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 I didn't, I, I didn't, I <coughs> didn't, I didn't lost anything on my way home, and uh, that's the main thing for that uh, purpose of existing of that package that I trashed, I trashed in, in my trash bin, and I wrapped another, uh, uh, like layer around inside the uh, trash bin uh, being covered with that package that I was given at the mall. I should say, if you got what I said, then good for you. Then you're yeah, probably Native American, and you're maybe na Native Brit. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure whether, whether the Brit word is an insulting word for British people or it's like an in only informal way. If you're a British uh, man or gal, you may comment me slightly or in a big way in my comment section down below and make girl like don't ever 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 never ever say Brit or whatever I'll be good with your assessment to being being done that and that way in uh, your native way I'm all about you know, getting a response of native people native Americans native British people and uh, I'm all I, I'm all standing for, for that and I forever will if I don't die I hope I will at least in the middle run and maybe a short run and one run as well so guys I tell you what if it is a day is pretty good and uh, sunny and the sun went sun went down uh, long ago but uh, still uh, with having not having darkness at my place I'm I'm lit with this uh, daylight bulb ba lamp with uh, hands happily about my silly head and uh, all these set of furniture and things organized in a proper way they serve well for me I should say they always serve well as I remember my place or uh, being uh, comforted with those things my <laughs> tacky items that I have uh, at my place where that real tape recorder real tape recorder is being on my video shoots here my wardrobe my happy uh, happy lane up there chair that I was handed down from my parents my uh, uh, old ch uh, childhood years apartment when we were living together with my parents so we were uh, having and we are still having those nice uh, furniture set that uh, the half of this furniture set I was I was given at the time uh, before I moved to this apartment I was given that that uh, part of my set of furniture I shared with my parents and the uh, major part belongs to me now and the uh, lesser part belongs to them to my parents and they uh, they having the uh, lesser part of the furniture set at their place so they are living pretty happily with me maybe I'm being a silly kid uh, as I'm like or uh, near my maybe her uh, uh, second youth and uh, <laughs> I say I don't count my years maybe I do count at some occasions but then then matter to me for the uh, that extent for that extent that that uh, determines something in my life so it's, it's never been that actually I always belong to that youth uh, community inside me that stuff uh, uh, that stuff just to uh, being uh, like an old man or being um, a young guy is always about you your personal perceptions, your personal attitudes, and the life approaching angles and stuff that falls along these lines. You know what I'm saying? And I still haven't uh, commenced my main part of my video shit up in that. And uh, what do we do? Not jerking, not jerking, not slumping, not uh, just 
<coughs> low low thing and uh, just uh, let's get uh, some uh, random subject and do that actually guys I uh, noticed that I ran out of uh, gas to describe my phys uh, to describe my physical items run at least uh, I'll be on them and uh, my nearest video shoes but let's uh, do something spirit not spiritual but can <coughs> Intangible in my video shoot of tonight. What would be intangible? You would never guess. Intangible is something that you cannot touch and feel physically, but inside your soul or my soul, as I'm speaking right now about it, I can, we can feel that stuff inside our, inside our minds, inside our souls, and inside our just to uh, within our lives, you see, and our mentally, you not know, physically. That word means intang. I mean, um, that word intangible means something you cannot touch physically or feel it physically only in a mental way and uh, actually I want to share kind of not a revelation but something that I uh, was pondering on for long, uh, for lo for long <coughs> amount of years that I passed maybe not so long throughout all my life to this point of my life say uh, and uh, that was and still is that movie called uh, Hit that was made in 1995 and there were uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and uh, they performed well they're performing well not the right definition for that movie that was just something to me when I when I watched that movie for the very first time in life I was astounded, astounded and I w that was astounding to me and I was stunned with the accomplishment and the, every camera angle every just video shoot video shoot angle and the camera angle was right Dialogues were right. Uh, acting, acting was was just perfect, just impeccable, and uh, the characters they were depicted at the highest extent. Performed by Pacino and De Niro, as I said it. And uh, one was the villain. Uh, he was performed by uh, De Niro, and the main good guy was uh, just <laughs> depicted by uh, imp impersonated by Al Pacino he's like uh, now I say that he didn't age well but now he aged and the Niro did and then at that point of their lives like being in the middle 40s their middle 40s or near and their 50 anniversary they were at uh, the uh, time of their uh, proud and glory and they were just flourishing I mean on the cinema see on the cinema world and they were in the movie making industry they were like on the top on the top of ever 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 spread at least throughout all the movie making industry they were on the top and then now I say that they are not now but uh, now they are just famous or easily recognized uh, easily easily recognizable and uh, that was their time of glory the middle uh, middle nine, maybe, maybe I believe it, that maybe middle nineties timeline that uh, uh, was depicted uh, literally in that movie, and that was the timeline when this movie was shot, was filmed, and uh, the story began with that uh, uh, good guy, good guy performed by Al, Al Pacino. He was living his just family kind of life with his wife, or not to say that they were pretty happy. He had his second wife, or she had. Uh, maybe not her first husband in the face of Al Pacino, the character of Al Pacino depicted by Al Pacino, Al Pacino saying that they were living just ordinary, they are moving for their routine of family um, issues every day, near and day by day, they are uh, maybe happy days, uh, and uh, it, doesn't, it didn't look like they were nearing their happy days, every day was filled with their scuffles or any one of the last were filled with and and we probably towards each other and uh, uh, she didn't like she didn't love him or uh, maybe she did in some or only <coughs> uh, maybe uh, selfish uh, uh, only in selfish way and uh, he actually loved her at is it occurred later on and uh, that's why he uh, previously stepped out of the ordinary day-by-day -day routine and then he got back on the second part of that movie or on the third if we divide that movie into three parts that probably the third part was the part when when he returned to his family life 
trying to reconnect with her, uh, his, excuse me, family in face of his, his wife. And so their family life is not the uh, just trajectory, uh, main uh, man, it's not the trajectory of the main plot line in that movie. It's not the uh, full storyline. The full storyline connects to their professional activities as well as Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. They were performing good and bad guys, as I said, and uh, Al Pacino was just uh, lead at his character and uh, De Niro was lead at his character. And uh, De Niro's character was pretty deep. He's like a villain, but he kind of, excuse me, In that movie, he was the boss of some gang, and they robbed banks. And the last, uh, the the last try they went for that was just a huge uh, fighting scene on the scene of uh, robber of robbery of that bank on the scene of robbery of that uh, bank. I don't remember that bank name now. That that scene was lead that shot shooting uh, shooting on the street. Those uh, bullets bullet shells everywhere got firearm fire uh, uh got got uh, firearms fire everywhere firearms fire everywhere they fire they shoot uh bullets fly uh, bullet shells are everywhere on the ground on the uh, claws everywhere uh shot sounds are uh shot sounds are everywhere uh <coughs> Getting through our getting through our ears and souls and those bigger, louder gunshots uh, sounds. They were just the main, maybe not uh, uh, say the main, but the most uh, just uh, artistic, uh, uh, the most artistic main, uh, the most uh, lead artistic main by which a creator. So that movie uh, got trying to impre impress all the mood of that movie. Upon on a, upon us, as you see, they were trying to impress all the mood of that movie upon us, uh, and uh, the whole shooting scene uh, were made uh, just perfectly. They were impeccable in those scenes. They were shooting, running, yelling, screaming. Uh, for the first time that night, uh, scene that that was complete chaos, and all all the mess uh, was chaotic. But that was chaos. Uh, pretty well organized from the uh, side of the uh, director of, of that movie and the operator and cameraman and uh, all the stunts stunts uh, unit uh, stunts unit guys they were performing well I believe those uh, main tricks they performed themselves De Niro and Al Pacino they didn't need any stunts in those they were performing well they were pretty good as you say those like their deeds were manly their attitudes were manly and harsh and relentless toward each other and uh, that's why I love that movie to the extent I cannot even externalize it properly I can't, I can't give it a justice I can't really give it a justice right now maybe I'm losing my I don't know maybe I'm losing touch with the reality with describing those events because they mean a lot to me and that's what I wanted to share for this video shoot of tonight and I did and thanks again for being with me for practicing my my American for Rex and your listening uh, listening abilities by listening to my American how I how I sound how I do my just uh, regular exercise of my American my video on my video shoots here connected to my beloved channel which, which I call myself down to for in the for English channel and uh, I'm pretty proud and happy with it. Since a while practice never step out of your American whatever the fucking do whatever the fucking say keep persevering what you want and we'll be there I promise you will I'll be with you on bye thanks for being for being with me tonight I'll be with you as soon as I have something to say in my time of issues here pleasure bye.